Hello, Oak Ridge families. Today is June 30th. My name is Travis Axine. I am building principal at Oak Ridge Middle School, heading into my sixth year in this role. And I gotta tell you, I love this building. I love the adults here and the kids here. I'm uh, really excited for our seventh grade class to join us um, and eighth graders uh, as their second year here and all the new students coming from different places. Uh, lo looking forward to uh, this school year uh, upcoming. I plan on sending out Friday updates uh, when the school year begins. Uh, so I wanted to give just an initial one right now. Um, during those Friday updates, my goal is to connect parents to Oak Ridge. And I'll do that by giving you some information that you can go to your kids and ask about. So you don't have those general conversations of, hey, how was school today? Okay, what'd you do? Nothing. You'll be able to say like, hey, I know you're doing this in science class, or this is the book you're reading in reading class, or these are things maybe you're working on in your PE and health classes. So my goal is to connect you as parents. Those conversations are more meaningful um, and a lot easier to have. Um, trust me, as having a few middle schoolers already, those conversations aren't always that easy. So since school's been out, we've been doing a little hiring here um, at Oak Ridge, uh, some scheduling for students, and really planning for the upcoming school year. Uh, hiring so far, we've got uh, a brand new science teacher, a new math teacher, a new PE health teacher, a new vocal teacher. Um, in addition to that, we uh, have two new secretaries that'll be joining us and a new position, uh, Dean of Students slash Athletic Director. Very excited to have that role um, here at Oak Ridge uh, for next year. Uh, scheduling, you may have seen uh, your child's schedule is, is complete. I'll say it's mostly complete. I have to go through and, and a, t a team of us uh, and look so, make sure we can balance some classes out. Some class sizes didn't really balance all that well, um, so we gotta do some hand scheduling there. So classes may get changed slightly. Uh, any requests that you may have about schedule change, uh, we'll do everything we can to uh, make that uh, request happen, but we may not be able to, just depending on class sizes and so forth. Um, so scheduling should be almost done. We have a couple changes to make. Got some seventh grade news, and I put a link in this uh, little uh, slot here. Uh, the immunization uh, reminder for in incoming seventh graders, uh, the, the meningitis and the T uh, TDAP uh, vaccine. Uh, have to have those complete and, and uh, information to our nurse uh, here in our health office prior to coming to school and prior to attending classes. So check that link if that uh, is you. And I believe uh, Kay Dean Dunwald has been in touch with everybody that that affects. Please get that taken care of. Seventh grade orientation has happened Friday, August 19th. More information to come. You'll get a letter about teaming and what time your actual orientation is for your child um, on Friday, August 19th. Some all school news. Uh, the main thing that we're going to start our school year with, uh, uh, me and staff, is the, the phrase, please put your cell phone in your backpack. Um, uh, we want kids uh, certainly to have cell phones and don't want to take those away from them. Um, but we do want them off their pockets, hands, and, and in backpacks. I uh, looked at a lot of research, um, a lot of things that are saying, um, you know, even if it's, if it's visible, uh, the, the production decreases. Um, that's with adults, especially with, with kids as well. Um, I think bottom line, we know that cell phones are the, the great interrupter um, and we want kids to be as focused as possible. So please help me when I talk to, when my, we talk to kids about keeping cell phones in backpacks um, and not out and about in pockets and so forth. Um, and that'll be, that'll be really helpful. Secondly, if, if, you're, if you're wanting to get a hold of your child, um, email them. We're going to have kids really working on email this year and really getting good with that system. Send them an email, then they'll be able to see use their, their computer, their device for that. Uh, I've attached the new daily schedule. Um, it's new to all seventh grade. Um, eighth grade is going to be a little bit, uh, it'll be a little bit different. Um, so take a look at our new daily schedule. More information that come about that, but I wanted to share that with you right now. Uh, and lastly, we have our open house parent night is going to be on Thursday, August 18th from 530 to 730. Not too many details yet. I just want to get that time and date into your hands now so you're aware of it. Um, we're going to have just an open house type of feel. Uh, like I said, I'll get you more information as we get closer to that date, uh, Thursday, August 18th. I hope you have, a, have had a great summer so far and you continue having a great summer. Have a great July um, and August as well. We'll see a lot of you back here on the 18th and 19th and then all the kids the following week. We're really excited for the next school year. I'll see you around. Take care.